What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman, AKA All Fires. Now, unlike the last batch of behind the scenes footage and shots that we got for Deadpool 3, which all took place before the actor strike, we just got a ton of new shots and footage. We have them all for you here in this video. And again, unlike that stuff from last summer, this was from filming and in the last couple of days in the UK. We're gonna issue the normal spoiler warning. We're gonna play the entire video for you, go over all of the still shots. I'm of course gonna add some annotations and context where I can to all these new leaks. But first, if you could grab the subscribe button, we do daily Marvel content at the channel, and that's all we do. Everything from official Easter egg breakdowns, trailers, and reviews, to the occasional industry insider report and everything in between. So if that sort of thing's for you, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below. That will automatically enter you to win our ongoing PS5 giveaway. The next one is right around the corner again. All you gotta do, be a sub, leave a comment. If you want, stick around at the end of the video. We get into all the giveaway stuff again there. Okay, so obviously major spoiler warning here. If you don't wanna see or know any of this stuff, I totally get it. Of course, it's gonna be all over social media. So spoiler warning, if you want to go into the unknown not knowing, I ain't mad at you, back out, now's your chance, otherwise we're going to play the whole video and then break everything down.
Now there's a ton we gotta talk about here. The first of which is the armored look for Deadpool where he's rocking a top knot and actual armor in the costume. Usually his costume is all cloth. This seems to be sort of like a mix of the two, sort of like the armored version of Wolverine's padding alongside Deadpool's actual costume and I don't want to go as far as to say this is a Wolverine Deadpool hybrid but you have to admit he does have what seems to be a top knot styled haircut alongside this costume it's just a very interesting look for Deadpool but apparently is a younger version of himself or at least where this dropped in the Daily Mail that's what they're saying this is a younger version of Deadpool to me it looks more like the idealistic version of Deadpool or like a Deadpool Prime you can see by the look on Deadpool's face that he's pretty shocked but he's already with our Deadpool and Dogpool which means he knows there's variants out there he just can't believe he's seeing this clean idealistic version again I think of what looks like Deadpool Prime Whatever the story is for this Deadpool, which I'm sure we will find out, notice his golden guns and his harness is there. It's like everything about him is just so squeaky clean is that he also didn't suffer the same mutation with his skin. Hence, he doesn't have a mask because he wants to show off his pretty face. Alongside our Deadpool that we know from the original continuity 1 and 2, we can tell it's our Deadpool because his mask is off and he's holding Dogpool, which had already been long time confirmed by some of the set photos that had already been posted by Ryan Reynolds himself. So, and ultimately in this shot, you've got three versions of Deadpool, this younger top knot version of Deadpool with armored plating. Then you have Dogpool and our version of Deadpool alongside Logan. Now, interestingly enough, this is still being shot outside in what looks like an extension of the location that they were originally shooting on. And again, before the actor strike where all that other leaked footage is from, which we are heavily guessing is still the void based on what we know from what we saw with the set debris there, the old Fox sign, some of the other remnants of other Marvel Cinematic Universes before the MCU. And this continues that same vibe and feel. There are several several shots that show sort of what looks like a background that's akin to what we saw in the void and where we think they are it's just interesting to me that as these set photos and these videos continue to come out all of this is shot outside it makes you wonder how much of the film is taking place in this void location and how much of the film is going to take place maybe somewhere else say like the 616. But you guys let me know all your thoughts down below, how hyped you are for this film and the trailer that's right around the corner. And quickly, let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. All right, we're still giving away PlayStation 5s here at the channel. We're going to continue to do that until the PlayStation 5 Pro or the PlayStation 6 comes out. And we're going to do it for every MCU drop. So not one for Madam Web, but we will give away tickets when that goes live in about a month. But for X-Men 97, Deadpool and Wolverine, Agatha Coven of Chaos, Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man, the animated Wakanda Project, Marvel Zombies. How many projects is Marvel dropping this year? Yeah, for all of those, we're giving away PlayStation 5s. All you have to do to be entered to win and all the same rules will apply for future giveaways. Hit the subscribe button, then leave a comment down below. And because it's truly random, the more videos you comment on, the better chance you have of winning. All winners will be announced at the end of videos the same way we're doing here. The best way to keep up with the content has always been to hit the notification bell with all notifications turned on. And as always, if you like today's video, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the like button. My name is Michael Roman. You can find me in a couple of places, Instagram and Twitter at Fires. You can also find me on Spotify, YouTube, Amazon, Apple, iTunes, wherever you listen to original music music under the name All Fires. And while I sincerely appreciate you checking my music out, thanks for checking this channel out. Stick around. We'll be posting again real, real soon.